This application is possibly one of the best next generation web AI agents. Introducing Multion, where AI agents can take actions on the internet or on your behalf through the browser. You simply let the AI agent take control of your browser, give it a prompt, and it will execute it for you. Now, just take a look at this example, how you can basically order an Uber with Multion. Call an Uber from home to office. I am navigating to the Uber website to book a ride from the user's home to their office. I am entering the user's home address in the pickup location field. I am selecting the correct home address from the drop-down options and then entering the user's office address in the destination location field. I am selecting the correct office address from the drop-down options. I'm confirming the pickup now to proceed with the booking process. I am proceeding with the Uber booking process by confirming the pickup time as now. I am requesting an Uber X ride for the user from their home to their office. I'm waiting for the Uber ride to be confirmed. Your Uber ride has been booked. The driver's name is Levan and he is driving a Tesla Model 3 with the license plate number 9BXJ105. He will arrive in approximately 10 minutes. You can contact the driver or cancel the ride if needed. We got some great news coming out of the Patreon page as we have a couple more subscriptions being given out this month. Now, this month we had a total of four different subscriptions being given out to our Patreons and this just shows how unique and how amazing this community is. We've been focusing really, really hard on providing you guys with the best content as well as the best applications for free for just simply joining our Patreon page. You not only access subscriptions, but you access resources, collaboration, networking opportunities, and so much more. Definitely take a look at the Patreon link in the description below if you want to access our private Discord. Now, wasn't that amazing? This is something that is basically like your personal Jarvis in a way. It's a revolutionary next-gen web AI agent that is going to be designed to perform different types of actions on your behalf. You can simply install this on your browser and it's something that I'll showcase as we go further into the video. You can do so much, whether that's web automation, you can also focus on inverted web paradigms, as well as focusing on many different aspects. And this is something that we'll take a look at throughout today's video. So with that thought guys, stay tuned and let's get straight into it. If you would like to book a one-on-one -on -one with me where you can access my consulting services, where I can help you grow your business or basically give you a lot of different types of solutions with AI, definitely take a look at the calendar link in the description below. Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video at the world of AI. In today's video, I'm gonna be showcasing you how you can get started with Multion, which is your personal AI agent. It's designed to assist you with daily tasks, particularly through your Chrome extensions. Now, this extension is something that will aim to transform the way you basically interact with different types of applications on the web. And it's gonna automate the process of obtaining information for you. It's like your personal secretary in a way, where you can ask it questions and you can interactively work with it to navigate websites, applications, or even have it autonomously solve different types of queries. Now, the Multion Chrome extension is integrating AI to operate in the background where it can handle different types of tasks that don't require the demand of the user's direct attention. And this is the automation that will reduce the need for hands-on involvement in the routine of digital interactions, which is going to obviously improve the efficiency and simplify the overall user experience. Now, this is something that we're going to take a look at as we go further onto the video and it's something that you can actually get access to currently and that's by going onto their discord in this case i'm going to just simply type in a random prompt that they already have so i'm going to tell it to make a tweet on twitter so in this case i'm going to ask it make a tweet on twitter about how ai is going to change the world and i'm going to simply just type in do it and it's going to start working to formulate this response. In this case, you can have it set up auto or you can have a step by step process. Now, it's going to also tell you what you need to do to set this up. So it states that to make a tweet about how AI is going to change the world. It's going to explain what it's going to do. It's going to go onto my Twitter and you can see that 
this thing pops up on the right hand side it's going to start writing it up and it's going to even write the hashtag and send it in and i'm typing the message about how ai is going to change the world into the tweet composition box and then posting the tweet the tweet about how ai is going to change the world has been successfully posted thank you for cutting me off but yeah you can just simply see like it did it fully autonomously and i just simply had to give it the prompt now I'm going to possibly see a couple people typing this up or liking this up, sorry, and even commenting on it. But you can see that that tweet right there was simply just sent. Now, you can even configure it so that before it even sends something, you can have it so that create a draft for that tweet so it doesn't automatically send it. But you get the gist of it. This is like your AI assistant that you can chat alongside to basically facilitate different types of like needs for you. And this is the great thing about this application. It's something that I truly just stumbled across on Twitter because of a couple of people sharing it to me. And I truly see this as being some sort of AI assistant that anyone can possibly use in various different use cases. Now to gain access, you want to join the Multion Discord, which I will leave a link to in the description below. Go to the main subcategory over here and find beta request. Once you are over here, you want to type in a small little message saying what you're going to be using it for. I guess this will pr basically prompt them to give it to you. And you want to basically then add your email to that message. That way they can then send you an invitation to the beta like request to access the Chrome extension. And this is going to be sent to your email within a couple of days. I, it took me, I think around two days to receive. And once I received it, I just simply had to sign up and it's fairly easy because you can just basically go onto their documentation, which showcases how you can get started. Uh, one, they have like a video showcasing how you can get started. Once you have received your email, you just simply go onto the Chrome app store download that application and once you have installed the actual application of multion you simply then go all the way to the top left of your browser and click on it and this way you just need to specify your account details i haven't done any of this but if you're going to be using this as your personal assistant you'd want to set your specific details that are needed so that you can then have Multion function on your behalf. And once you have done that, you can then open up Multion right in your browser. And this is where you can start chatting with it. This is all in their documentation. So I recommend you read through it as well as watch the videos if you do need more assistance because they basically showcase how you can install it on a step-by-step -step process. Let's take another example as to what you can do with this. In this case, they're asking what is the weather like today? And you simply just send in that prompt and it gives you this response where the weather is that. You can do various other things where you can order food. In this case, the person is ordering a burger and it's from a specific place, a specific restaurant. And it's going to process the order based off the information that you had provided it. And this it's doing it autonomously. There's no human intervention in this case after you have sent that prompt in. And it fully orders it to the location you have set. And you can simply just send in a prompt and it will do everything that is required based off that prompt that you had given it. So you might be wondering, how does this basically operate? Well, to perform a single Multion browsing session, it's going to involve the Browse API. And this is something that you can reference to on the documentation. But it's basically something that is used to interact with the Multion web agent. In this context, a session is something that refers to a specific interaction. And this is the instance that is being initiated by your user query or from the workflow from initial responses. And this session is something that begins where you basically provide an input URL and this is an instruction prompt and it will basically include the like response once the agent basically completes that task with the necessary actions based off what you gave it in that prompt you can see it starts off with the user prompt high level steps for the workflow being sent to the multi-agent wrapper this is using the open ai system api it also uses langchain as well as llama index it then goes through the multi on browser which is going to then work through different types of sessions firstly we have the sessions life cycle you have use cases and security now session have been defined by these different types of categories. This is where you first start off by initiating and ending upon the task completion. Now, these each sessions are isolated and it ensures that the data as well as the interactions are not shared between different sessions. So this isolation basically enhances the security and it protects the integrity of your data. 
Now, the sessions are also particularly useful for handling individual queries, such as fetching some sort of weather update or even executing specific tasks like the ones that we saw previously. But you can see that this is basically how you're able to understand how like it basically functions. Now, this was just a simple, cool little video on Multion. It's something that I really wanted to make a video on previously, but I didn't find a lot of time to make it. But today, eventually at nighttime, I got some time and I thought I shouldn't go a day without uploading. So I was like, might as well take off this off the checklist and make a video on it because it's something that could be really useful for a lot of people. I truly will be keeping you guys up to date on the Twitter on this application as they keep on developing it. So stay tuned. Make sure you guys check this thing out if you guys haven't already. Make sure you follow us on the Patreon page. This is a great way for you to access different types of subscriptions to AI tools completely for free. I definitely recommend you check it out because I also have blog posts on the Patreon which showcase the usability of it. Make sure you follow us on Twitter if you guys haven't already to stay up to date with the latest AI news and trends. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like this video, and check out our previous videos so you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. But with that thought, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Have an amazing day. Spread positivity. And I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.